Hello, everybody. This is Le Levant here, and we are well, pretty much going into the shape of the ground. Well, if anything else, uh, what did I just press? Okay. Uh, remember there are no wrong. This is this game. While technically a horror game, it is also more. Okay, that doesn't actually do much. But, uh, back to what I was saying, this is tech, quote unquote, technically a, a horror game, but it's actually a bit more of a, I guess, psychological evaluation. Don't worry about that, because I'm gonna put, uh, post the whole, like, description of the game in the description below, but a big thing I need to say outright is that this game is, has, uh, ex Dance of death idealization, and after checking around a bit, it's pretty much thought. I pretty much as you expect, uh, thoughts of death. So, and more in particular, it doesn't really matter which type, but if you're squeamish or I guess if you're squeamish or don't like it very much, I would recommend stopping right now and. Go check a, go check one of my other videos, or or just a happier video in general. But with that said, I'm not squeamish, so I guess we'll take this test. All right. Okay. Oh, this is. Could jump, that's for sure. Here we go. I guess the glowing sparkles is where I need to go, but what? What's this? Oh, what do you see? Huh. I see teeth. I definitely see teeth, so. A lie, oh! A lie, a truth, a compromise. Well, I don't know. I would probably say compromise, that's probably the. Insert has been promoted. Okay. So I guess I can't use a num a numpad. It has to be one to three on top of the left keyboard area. Oh. I guess I walk around and look. This experience is technically 20 minutes long, so let's see what do we got here. What do you see? Oh, that is creepy. Desire, change, or beauty? Uh, I would have to say definitely change. The answer has been recorded. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I guess I'm supposed to run around and look for these the last bed. Somehow this is creepier than anything. Uh, take it away. Oh, oh it's the bell. Alright. Oh. What is it? A graveyard in a church. I guess I'll check here first. What do you see? Resilience, weakness, or strength? Oh, it's definitely resilience. Oh, shit. 
Because, let's be fair here. If you have resilience, you can pretty much overcome any weakness and it become resilience becomes your strength. Please. There are still seven questions left unanswered. Okay, so I guess this I come here last class. Hmm. What do we guess I look around? All I know is this is hella creepy, and it does it isn't even intended for like any boss hunting or something. Either that's incineration or What is that supposed to be? Incineration? Devotion? Destruction or desperation? That is damn nearly destruction. Jeez. Alright, well. Oh, what's this blood? I guess I. Guess there's one there. But that is a hell of a lot of uh, blood here. Regrets? Eyeballs. Why did it have to be eyeballs? Scrutiny. There's only one reason you can have an eye. Ah, it's 100% scrutiny. God. Alright, what do we have here now? Okay. What do you see? Denial, betrayal, a betrayal. I guess it would be Porch Trail. Porch Trail, number two. I mean... You could definitely portray something. But... It's... Only up to you if it's like... If it ends up being a betrayal or... Something like that. Alright, well... Jeez, they really went all out on the annotation. Huh. Guess this is here. I wouldn't call that, uh... I'd probably say that's more scholarly. A future, a past, definitely a future. That is 100% a future. if you're not gonna hide. If you're not gonna enjoy or hide. Okay, how many more are there? Hmm. What do you see? Well, I see the fall of Olympus, that's for sure. <laughs> a rise, a fall, a cycle. But then again, the cycle would be more practical because there's always gonna be a rise and fall of everything, no matter what. So I'm gonna say a cycle. Okay, so supported. I kind of want to... I kind of want to know what'll happen to... How is that? I don't want to know what happens after we finish this uh, experience. What the results will be, and all that. I guess I'll go... There's one in there. And it's in the shipyard. What do we have here? Oh, wow. Hell. That's putting it bluntly. Pressure, erase, erasure, or pleasure. That is definitely pressure. Jeez. Once again, it 
I'm gonna say this again. If you feel uncomfortable and all that, I really wouldn't recommend watching this video. This is an experience and it's definitely not a normal horror game because this really makes you think. It's actually, it's really one hell of a thought provoker, that's for sure. I mean like, these are the type of morale based questions you would probably question, uh, ask yourself at like, I wouldn't say the deepest parts in your despair, but more like around like, god damn it, that one. Let's see, how many more? Looks like we got it. Oh, what the hell? Alright, incineration? Somehow this is a lot more creepier than it should. Huh. Tragedy begets opportunity. Hmm. Tragedy begets opportunity. I'm not sure how to take on that one. Yes, that is true because on one hand, on one hand, tragedy is usually the time to, like, mourn and all that. But at the same time, it's always a... It's always a great opportunity to bring highlight a uh, issue that caused said tragedy. Uh... Or, like, pretty much all the more recent, uh... Shootings and all that. That really brings up the question on, uh... Gun, on gun control and all that. I won't say my stance on it because I I have few things I agree and disagree with, and we'll leave it at that. But it is a thought. It is definitely a I pretty much an idea to think about because it always brings up the talking points. Like we need because X Y and Z. We need X Y and Z. Uh, X squared, Y squared, and Z squared. And all that. But, all in all... It really... This game really is a thought provoker. Uh... I kind of want to see what this form uh, 2, 42B is. I'm just like really, really curious now. A PDF view. It opened up over here. Uh, what do we have here? The shape in the ground, test patient evaluation form. Needs to be exposed to the related software before completing this form. Information. Wow. They really go at it. Oh, wow, they really... Hmm. I think I'll, I think I'll probably answer this and, uh, yeah, I think I'll probably, uh, I guess, an answer it on this video and I'll probably send it into, uh, this email. So essentially just regarding all this for right now, and I pretty much Level experience prior to test. I have no idea what that means, so I'm pro if I'm not sure what level of experience. If they mean gaming experience, then definitely advanced because everyone because of that. Uh, time to complete. As of this point right now, when I it's like eleven to twenty minutes, and I was pretty calm and talkative. Initial reaction upon uh, completion. I was definitely in thought. So there's that. How does 
patient described the end segment of the software church environment it was interesting i'll say that much uh what were the feelings expressed by the patient about the ending segments of the software church uh once again it was definitely interesting and it was more thought provoking so yeah i'll leave that on the video and i guess for now i'm going to call the episode here so thank you for watching this video if you like what you saw throw this video a like and if you want to see more content like this subscribe to my channel until then i'll see you in the next video Thank you